What's up guys, welcome to the very first exhibition match here on the channel. Today we're going to be going up against Aaron Cybertron Zhang, who's a good friend of mine, and we're both going to be using our regionals teams. Uh, each of our teams won regionals, so we thought it'd be like a really fun idea to play against each other, uh, and kind of in a best of three setting, and just to see how the teams match up against one another. Uh, and so something cool about the way that we're doing this one is I'm going to record the battle on my channel, Aaron's at the moment recording the battle on his channel, and we'll both upload the games, uh, so that you guys can kind of see the thought process that goes into both both of our, like, that goes behind both our sides, so you can kind of understand where we're coming from a little bit better. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm really excited for this. Aaron's a phenomenal player, um, and yeah, I don't know, I'm just, like, I'm really excited. I don't know, like, a ton about Aaron's team, but I know, I have, like, some information, so, like, I don't know his spreads or anything, but I know most of the moves, so, like, and I, I expect hits about the same from his end, so, I don't know, like, the last time that Aaron and I played, I got kind of wrecked. It was US Nationals round, I believe, four. I think we were both 3 0 at the time. Uh, and Aaron won two wins to one win. And yeah, it was just like, it was two wins to one win. But if I'm remembering right, like, it, sh it should have been two wins to zero wins on his side. So I don't know. Aaron's like a phenomenal player and also like a, a really good friend. So I'm just looking forward to this thing. It'll be fun. Um, his team is really solid. The one that he's using today, most of his teams are really solid. So I don't know. I'm excited. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and I think it'll, I'm also like, just like personally, I'm excited to see kind of his thought process going behind, like, because when you're, when you're using a team a lot, you don't often get to see what goes through your opponent's heads, you know, so like, I think that'll be really cool for me to watch personally, so I'll link that in the description, but we're going to go ahead and, and jump right into it right now, so good luck to Aaron and rip to my Pokemon. Okay, so uh, for those of you who need some help looking at the sprites, uh, Aaron's got Salamence, Bronzong, Smeargle, Kyogre, Mawile, and Groudon. Oh my goodness, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we've got double primal, we've got double mega, um, we've got double, 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 we've got double, mm, colors, two blue Pokemon, two gray Pokemon, if you count Mawile as gray, um, yeah, so looking at this team, normally when I see Salamence, when I see Kyogre, when I see Smeargle, oh, F Smeargle, oh my goodness, um, yeah, Thunderous is coming to this one because my team is rather lacking in the, uh, Smeargle counters department, so, yep. Uh, Thunderous is coming up front, and now, um, on my side, I've got Dialga's kind of gray and Ferrothorn's kind of gray, and I also have the Salamence Kyogre, which are both blue. Thunderous and, and Landorus both have some white aspects in them, like, Landorus is, like, his mustache and his nice little hat, and Thunderous has also got the hat and the mustache, so, um, those are, like, important things to keep in mind. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, uh, Aaron's team is just, like, it's pretty cool looking. I don't know, I like the way it looks. Um, looking at my team, I don't really know. Um... I guess I want, I normally like Intimidate with my team, I like Ferrothorn, I like Kyogre, I like, I like, um, I guess I like Long Walks on the Beach, I don't know, I haven't really done that many, I guess my legs might get tired, I think walking on sand is rather difficult, um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and bring Salamence here, and I'm gonna bring Ferrothorn because he's got that Trick Room mode, and Ferrothorn is pretty handy when it comes to handling Trick Room, um, and I've got Kyogre in the back because my team is rather weak to ground on, so this is gonna be an interesting game, uh, I'm really excited to see how, how what, like, how, how Aaron decides to play this and how I decide to play it. Um, yeah. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get right into it! Let's go! Oh. My. God. Okay. Ooh, good lead from Wolf. Um, two Pokemon that don't touch the ground in case in case the ground starts shaking. Um, okay, so we've got... Okay, so looking at the field, we've got three Pokemon who don't touch the ground. Um, there's nothing like... Okay, like, like, just to clarify, there's nothing like inherently wrong with the ground it's just like like we, we just don't want to touch it you know we just we just don't want to touch it um yeah so this is actually i think i like this lead a lot more from aaron's side than i do from mine um so in this situation this is interesting because um aaron's a really good player and he knows that i have taunt on my thunderous and he knows that i know that he has lum on his bronzong and not mental earth so with that like ordinarily like this might be a good move time to like taunt bronzong to stop trick room but also because i have ferrothorn in the back like that option isn't necessarily obvious um or isn't like isn't like ideal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Thunderbolt right here on the Mawile. No, I'm not. Let me think. So my options with Thunderous are I can protect Thunderous. Or I can Thunderbolt Mawile, I think. I'm not gonna taunt that Bronzong because it's just too risky. I think like so okay. Like I'm gonna Thunderbolt Mawile. Um and with that in mind, I could set up the sub on my Ments, but I don't like Aaron's a good enough player that I don't know, it's just like it's really risky to like make predictions against him because like he's really good at like reading you. So um I'm going to Thunderbolt them all wild with my Thunders, and I'm going to switch my, my Salamence to Ferrothorn. I'm going to save that Intimidate for later. I'm going to get Ferrothorn in, because Ferrothorn threatens both of these guys. Um, and, yes. Yeah. So Ferrothorn's coming in. 
Um, hopefully he launched a player off at that slot, but I think it's highly unlikely given Aaron's abilities. Um, and just Thunderbolting that Mawile. So Aaron's going to go ahead and switch his Bronze Egg to Groudon, which is really interesting. Um, getting that stun up gives me the, the initial weather switching, but it depends a lot on what he does. I also know that he has Skill Swap on his Bronze Launch, so of course that like changes the way the, like, the Weather War is played. Um, but yeah, Mawile's at minus one, Thunderous is at minus one, all the other Pokemon are at neutral. Desolate Land is coming in, and my Thunderous... Okay, so Mawile is Mega Evolving here, so it, it probably chose not to protect. It didn't really have much reason to protect, because it threatened both of my Pokemon, and I can't do that much to it. I'm not totally sold on my Thunderbolt calc, depending on his spread, but I'm going to go ahead and launch this Thunderbolt. going to do just under 50%, and Player of is going to come out onto my Thunderous. It does quite a bit, actually, so that's unfortunate. Um, Aaron, I could have gone for the safe sub there, but... Um, Yes, I don't know. Okay, so with that in mind, um, goodness, oh jeez, I guess I'll go Thunderbolt onto his Mawile and go ahead and switch my. F I wonder. I'm so I'm banking on this Thunderbolt picking up the two KO, which I don't think is super likely, but I think that was a low roll. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and see what what happens. Um, shoot, that's yeah, this is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, that Mawile is a lot bulkier than I expected. Maybe not. Maybe I just don't know my Thunderbolt couch. But yeah, I think Aaron's in a pretty strong position here. So, ordinarily, I'd be really tempted to stay in with Ferrothorn and go for the Leech Seed. But because Aaron is the way... Like, so, a lot of players are like, okay, like, he's got... He's got, um... Sorry. A lot of players would expect to switch to Kyogre here, but I'm going to go ahead and bring in my men. So, hopefully, um... Hopefully this picks up the KO, otherwise I'm kind of kind of in some trouble, so, um, yeah. Mets is coming in. He could have sucked a punch, but I'm okay with that. Thunderous is going to go ahead and launch that Thunderbolt. Going to go ahead and do not enough damage. Rock Slide's coming out. Mets avoids the attack, but Thunderous is going down, so if this is a player up, I am in some deep trouble. Um, yeah, he read that He read that switch really well. Um, and this is looking like if I lose my Mets here, which I don't know if I will. Yeah, player up. So that's going to be the game, I think. Let's see if Mets loses. Minus two. No, no chance. Um, so yeah, I think that should be the game, unless I'm much mistaken. So, good game to Aaron. It was a solid game one. Um, yeah, I don't know. G G G G G. It's not. It's not like. It's not like 100% over. It's just like 99.9% .9 over. You guys feel? Um, because the only way in which I win this is, I need to take out. I need to hope he has Kyogre as his last one, and I need to kick out the Groudon. Because if I'm in rain, I need to be in rain basically to win this game. Um, I can expect a sucker punch here, but hmm. I can expect a sucker punch here, but I don't think it will do that much. So basically, he needs to get his ground on out somehow because yes. So if he switches his ground on out, his last mon probably isn't meant, so it has to be either Smeargle or Kyogre. So I think it's more likely that it's Kyogre at this point. Um, so let's see. Okay, okay. Aaron switches grout onto Kyogre. I use Water Spout, I eat a Sucker Punch. I can't stop it, can I? There's no, there's no real, there's no real way for me to stop this. Um. Uh, I can KO the Kyogre, like, I mean, I guess I'll just, I'll just, I'll just be smart. I mean, I guess I'll just be like, oh, smart, smarty, but, um. Power, so if I want to call, if I, I think this, this ground, if he has Kyogre in the back, it's Kyogre that's coming in, but KOing the Kyogre isn't necessary, or, I'm sorry, KOing the Kyogre isn't, isn't my win condition here, but it could also be Bronze on. Yeah, let's, let's say it's Bronze on. We just see it onto Groudon, and we're going to launch that Water Spout. Um, yeah, so Groudon's coming out, this will seal, seal up the game. Um, if he switches in Kyogre here, yeah, so, so that's, that's it. Um, I can't really do much about that at all. Um. Yeah, I could have gone with the power whip and the hard read, but um, I don't know. I didn't get four outs, so I think we're gonna start with that as as the initial the initial uh, way count for victory. Um, yeah, Aaron played that well. He understood his win condition. That's gonna be a crit, and that should seal up any and all hope I had of taking this one. Uh, Water spout's gonna do approximately. Let me see. Yeah, that's like about zero damage. Um, Mawile's gonna get KO'd, so we get that we get that young not four zero. Uh, but as long as Aaron doesn't lose his Kyogre here. I mean, as long as Aaron doesn't, doesn't, I mean, there's like, there's no way. So at this point, I'm going to use this opportunity to check for speed, uh, to see if Aaron has any weird, um, like if he has Thunder on his Kyogre. I don't think he does. I think it's probably Scald, but, um, 
yeah, I don't see any reason for him to go for anything other than... He probably can just go Fire Punch, like, to be honest. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say... Do we think he uses Precipice Blades? I think... Yeah, yeah let's, let's say he uses Precipice Blades. Aaron, yeah, like, Aaron's not gonna fall for this, but... Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta risk it for the biscuit, and the biscuit is certainly worth risking it for. And that's the situation that we're in right now. So Aaron, right now, um, he can fire punch my Ferrothorn and win the game. He can go for Precipice Blades. He can. He's not gonna switch Kyogre. That Kyogre is staying in. Um, Aaron knows the way I play, so I, I, yeah, I would I would definitely expect a fire punch to be pretty probable here. But on the off chance he uses Precipice Blades, then we will we will see. Um, Kyogre uses Ice Beam to my Kyogre, fire punch right into that Ferrothorn, and that's gonna seal the deal. Goodbye, Ferrothorn. You fought. Well, yeah, Ferrothorn fought well, right, guys? Uh, yeah, and that's that's gonna be it. So Ferrothorn goes down. Um, my my confidence, my pride goes down, and I'm gonna go ahead and use Ice Beam to check for speed. So I'm also giving him this information, but I'm I'm gonna say it's valuable for me. So my Kyogre is faster than both his Primals, which is honestly very good to know. Ice Beam's gonna come out, do about 30%. And hey, we just need a couple Precipice Blade misses, right guys? We just need about four Precipice Blade misses, and that would be one. Okay. Okay, here's the situation. There's actually like no way. There's like zero point, like there's no situation in which I win this. If I, if, if for some reason Bleach Seed like transferred, if the game was played in a different, like, like in a different manner, things would be different. Like if, if my Kyogre was feeling healthy in this Kyogre, but obviously that's not the way the game works. So this will be the game. He can just fire punch me here. He doesn't even need to use Precipice Blades. Um, Ice Beam, 63 down to 40, so that does about 23 damage. Fire Punch, gonna go ahead and sh pick up the knockout here. I'd be shocked if it did. I would be absolutely shocked. Yeah, and that's gonna pick up the KO. So, that's a good first game to Aaron. A bad, bad, bad first game for my poor Pokemon, but we didn't get 4 0 so once again, that's a, that's a good place to start, I think. And, um, yeah, I don't know. That's solid. So, good game to Aaron, and I look forward to game two. Make sure to check out, um, thank you guys so much for watching this game one. There will be game two and, uh, hopefully game three. Um, <laughs> coming up please make sure to go check out the the other like his side of the game on his channel uh, I, i'll give you a sneak preview right now he'll be like man wolf is so bad <laughs> and that's all i need to say because that's the truth so good game again check like I'll, I'll link it in the description please make sure to check out his channel uh if you liked what you saw if you want to see more of this please make sure to like uh subscribe leave comments yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you for game two